Hi, if you want to capture attachments via form butler, this is the way to do it. So in this case, I have a form butler pack with an uh, actionable. So if I go and check out the actionable, it's the normal actionable of uh, form butler, obviously. Uh, but here at the end, I have uh, a piece of extra configuration. So if you don't see these fields, you can just add them to the page layout. Uh, maybe because of the updates, you uh, the page layout was not updated. Uh, but here, this uh, extra configuration is actually uh, actually combined, saying, well, this is the type of document that I would like to upload, and if it's required, yes or no. Let's take a look. This uh, setup is called a, a JSON, and JSON is easy to uh, configure. Uh, if I take a tool like the JSON editor online, you can see how the JSON is created. We have a field called uh, required. The field can be true or false. So in this case, I'm gonna set two documents. One document I'm gonna call ID card and the other document I'm gonna call driver license. So the way you wanna call these documents, it's your own choice. Uh, so the, the name of these documents we will see later in the movie will be attached as the uh, uh, to the attachment in the name, and then it will be actually uh, sent out, uh, saved into uh, Salesforce with that uh, uh, name attached. So this can be your own choice. This is just a text, a piece of text, and then you can set it to required true or false. Okay, always make sure that they begin with these uh, uh, square brackets. And then they have these aqualadas there. This is the way the JSON uh, would look. If there is an error in the JSON and you are using this tool, it will immediately say that it's, there is an error in the JSON, obviously. Cool. So if I now add this uh, JSON right here, so if I would say uh, I want to compact it, that's the way to do it via this button over here, then you compact it and then I just can just uh, uh, store it over here in this field. When it starts over here, uh, then it will be taken into account, obviously. And if I now generate my form request, so the form request is already created. I can now say, okay, my form request here, uh, let's take a look at the, uh, uh, via the URL directly. And let's take a look how it looks. So you can see that it now took, uh, two uh, uh, extra documents are required, uh, are set. One is required because it's uh, identified by this extra uh, asterisk, uh, that asterisk here, and the other one is not required. So if I would now do submit, it will automatically say, hey, you have to uh, uh, upload your ID card. Okay, so let's upload uh, just a file. It doesn't really matter in this case. Uh, so I'm just gonna take a file and then uh, take another file for the driver license, although it's not required. So this is now two files that I'm gonna upload. These can be pictures, images, documents, whatever kind of type that you uh, that you have. If I click the submit button, obviously it will uh, do the normal actions that FormButler would do. So it will save all the data. But more importantly in this demo is that uh, now if I go back to the documents that are attached to my uh, um, to my opportunity where I started from, you would see that the two documents I uploaded, the ID card and the driver license, are actually now attached directly to my opportunity or the record that I started from. In this car, in this case, the ID card uh, and the dash is added uh, directly to the uh, um, to the name of the document, and the other one is driver license is added to the name of the document, so it can be easily identified which document is which and what was uploaded.